Welcome back. This is Chris here with Mad Rose Woodworks. And as promised, here is the video of the show Sugiban finishing technique I do on all of my garden planters. Just using a simple 20 pound propane cylinder and a mag torch weed burning propane torch kit I picked up from Menards for around $50. I will put that in the description below. And this isn't a true Shosugiban process as I don't completely char the wood to the extent where it's burnt into the surface. And the reason I don't is because it's a fairly thin wood. It's, it's a fence picket. So if I were to burn it all the way in like uh, the traditional process, I don't think there'd be much structure left to hold everything together. But again, this is just to show you, it's it's pretty straightforward. I I burn it pretty good. I, as you can see, there's there's a lot of spots that will catch on fire, and I do keep a spray bottle on hand. You can keep a garden hose, some kind of weed sprayer on hand just something with a little bit of water because it will start burning in spots but not to panic as you can usually tell where it starts burning you'll see a little bit of smoke coming off of it And you can see, I'll just run a torch fairly close to it and just get it good and charred, good and black. And after a while in the sun, the finish will tend to, to bleach out a little bit and fade. But it, the cedar takes on more of a, uh, almost like a whitewash look than the typical gray look that cedar gets when it weathers after a while. I have a box in the backyard that's going on its second season and it's very much bleach, bleached out. It's a very pale, yellowish, whitish color. And I did some experiments with the torch and I can add the finish right back in. So it's not, uh, not a huge deal. I, I would like to make another box, I think, and really, really char the surface and see how it holds up. I'm just concerned that the, the bottom slats here, if I char them too heavily, that it'll weaken the structure because there's a fair amount of weight, as, as those in the comments have pointed out. And one day I would like to do a weight test and just fill this thing up with some bags of concrete or dirt and see how much weight we can get in there before it comes apart in catastrophic fashion. So that is really it. If you have any other questions, Feel free to ask down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll just uh, let you listen to what's going on here. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. And uh, if you have any ideas on projects or things you'd like to see, just throw something in the comments below, and we'll see if we can't get going on something. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support, and we'll see you on the next one.